Fantastic. Okay, we'll start in one minute, one minute from now. I can see a couple of you still coming online there. Thank you. Welcome, welcome to those of you that uh, have just come on. I acknowledge you giving us your time and, and presence here tonight. Um, I'm really looking forward to sharing what I'm about to share with you. So everything about this retreat, why we created it, where it is, what sort of teachings we teach, um, you know, is this, is this for you, is this not for you, are these dates available to you, um, so all these things we will shortly discover and find out and go on with you. I'm here to assist you, so any questions you have, that's exactly what I'm here for. All right, so we are going to jump straight into it. I want to see you first. I want to see you guys. Okay, how's it? Namaste, as they say in India. Uh, but uh, you'll get used to that phrase the more we get on, get on through this trip. And uh, another beautiful thing that I love that the Indians always they always use the term full power. It's really about living from your heart and expressing yourself completely uh, without looking good or fitting in or anything like that. So full power to our session right now. And um, we're going to kick off. So welcome and congratulations. Uh, there's no coincidence that you are on this webinar tonight. There's no coincidence that this particular webinar has crossed your path and I don't know if you've seen it a couple of times or you've come across it or you've heard it from a friend at a bra but we've had an amazing amazing groups of people doing this retreat so far fantastic outcome we've actually just got back I got back about uh, eight days ago from our last retreat and um, always 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 special it's always beautiful to see uh, the diverse people Really, some people coming, firstly, they come there just to experience incredible India, or it's a self-development, or it's getting over heartbreak, or whatever it is that you're seeking. Uh, a lot of people feel that they're working so much and they want to find purpose. So whatever your particular case is, we, we're going to have a look at that right now. Um, but as you know, I am absolutely believe that whatever it is, uh, we can take this hand in hand walk through India, come out on the other end like a butt, like a silkworm turning into a butterfly. So congratulations and thank you for being here tonight. So I'm going to kick straight into it. My intention in life, those of you that don't know me, is to create a ripple effect around the world of love. Um, it's, it's something that I search for and uh, as you're going to see right now, um, the, the, the discovery and the work that I've done, I've been doing now for eight years uh, through corporates, through sales teams, and we've already covered and, and, and already trained 27,000 odd people have already been through this program. So it's, it's, it's not a, a brochure program put together. The consciousness shifts that one goes through throughout the retreat and through the teachings um, have been tested, have been tried by huge corporates around the world. Uh, the retreats have been all through. So each retreat is designed exactly for those, those seven shifts, those seven fundamentals for you to get them organically. So basically this retreat is about your questions answered on the Smiling Soul Retreat today. You can see the, the lovely uh, the pics that we have here. That's, the, that's really the diversity of this trip. Um, we go to beautiful markets, we end up and go, we let our hair down a little bit, we, we discover Japanese martial arts, we do all the tourist things, white water rafting. Uh, but so let me just kick in straight. The agenda tonight is how the retreat came about and why I created it in my journey. So it's, it's quite an interesting aspect. Um, 
you know, searching, being successful, losing, losing, failing, succeeding, failing, and the oscillation was like this all the time. And I thought to myself, I have to create some sort of peaceful dwelling in here that also is very powerful and, and successful. Uh, this this retreat is is really it's not about you sitting under a tree a tree and living on hopium. I say hopium, uh, hoping that things are going to work out for you. No. Here we really discover and create something really special that you can walk away with. But we'll get onto that a bit later. Some of the highlights of Incredible India Smiling Soul Retreat Package, White Rocks, what the benefits are, what the outcomes of you, outcomes tonight will be. And then, uh, as I said, this is about questions. So uh, if you see on number three, these are, the, these are the questions that we will cover. Uh, what is the purpose of the retreat? Um, you guys can read there. I'm going to get into all of this. So I'm just going to skim through a couple, you know, what are the participants, the participants like and how big are the groups. Um, I am considering another retreat along similar lines. What sets our retreat apart from the others? And so we've really gone with layers here to entertain and to answer exactly what it is that you are looking for throughout this agenda tonight. Please remember, um, as you know, those of you that have been on webinars with me, we always offer something really cool at the end. So... This particular one, we have a special offer exclusive to this webinar, so only for you that have come on here tonight. So stay online right to the end for that. And then, as you know, right at the end, after, if there's anything I haven't covered, it's going to be an open platform for you guys to ask me anything live. So <clears throat> uh, make sure you stay right to the end. Another cool thing is, is a bonus giveaway, a manifestation diary, a diary that I've developed through all these teachings for eight years that you're going to get at the end for free. Um, on the retreat, we actually teach you organically how to use the diary, which is very powerful. Um, it's it's uh, Also, we have the, a, a beautiful special for you guys tonight, you know. Um, so stay on for that, stay until the end, and have a look what we've got there. Please also, right at the end, uh, we have a survey that we'd love you to fill in. It gives us some great feedback, and we can also get back to you and uh, join the dots and get you on the retreat. So the first thing I want to kick off with is a poll. What is the main kind of challenge that you're currently experiencing in your life? The retreat... I'm just launching the poll for you, okay? So, as you'll see there, it should pop up. Um, uh, you can choose, you just choose whichever one you feel is right. So what is the main kind of challenge that you're currently experiencing in your life that a retreat could possibly resolve? So please, guys, get in, uh, please share with us uh, the outcomes. So ability to attain goals, um, relationship challenges, dealing with inner conflicts, Dealing with mental clutter, finding balance and time to do everything that you want. So have a look at that, or your percentages are. Just click on the dots where you see it, and then you can press submit. Yeah, so really think about the percentages. <clears throat> it seems like um, number two is very popular, ability to attain goals, financial, career, health, etc. Well, you are so in the right place. Um, yes, also another one, dealing with inner conflict, that's a big one. It resonates with a lot of people that come on the retreat. Uh, dealing with mental clutter, stress. You know, this one is really about do you have clarity in your life? Um, a lot of us are like working hard, 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 and we've got a lot going on, but we feel like no matter how hard we work, we're still not happy. And um, that is exactly what we have come here for and what these seven fundamentals is for. So thank you for that. Um, thank you for the poll. All right, so we're going to move on now. Poll closed. Right. 
So, how did the Smiling Soul Retreat come about and why did I create that? I love to bring a bit of humor in, but uh, yeah, we did find that. I've been searching for this everywhere. I created it myself, my friend. So, you know, this isn't something of secondhand information being stuck together. This is really deep organic getting and really deep organic uh, creating a platform for you to discover exactly what makes your soul smile and leave there with the masterpiece that you can tackle life and you can be find this peaceful dwelling and be aligned at the same time, uh, as well as obviously enjoying incredible India. Okay, so a little bit about me. I was, uh, I was born in Peter Marisburg, but I actually grew up in Newcastle. Um, nothing special. You know, I was a little boy with the button missing on my, on my, on my top. And let me, I want to see you guys. I'm going to go back into the cam, on the camcorder, yeah? Um, so, yeah, I was, I was this uh, little boy, nothing special. Um, and uh, before I knew it, I was so, I was so, so, sports was everything to me. I remember, um, I just I just did enough at school. I just did enough every year just to pass because I was so interested in all this and on the rugby and the cricket and the swimming and everything on the field. And uh, so that's where I was really chasing my life. I wanted to become the, like the greatest rugby player in the world. Yeah, you can see some clips of me. I turned professional. Um, there's a bit of about my background. Um, and then something drastic happened. I, I broke my arm and my whole boy dream had just disappeared. So I was literally stranded at, a, at an age of like 27. What I do, um, I ended up, uh, I'd, I'd got a bursary in, in the United States and I couldn't play anymore because my hand was messed. So my medical bursary went out the, went out the window. I was getting deported because of my visa. I ended up homeless in Manhattan. There's a picture of me um, for just over a year, searching, wondering why me. I'd put in all this work. Why is life not working with me? Uh, and then uh, being being literally a bum in New York, um, I, things changed for me that I would never, ever had imagined. Um, as you can see here, uh, there's me. I was a Calvin Klein guy for four years. I did 10 campaigns around the world. I became a supermodel and traveled to 26 different countries working, gracing the ramps, uh, and really living a dream of, of, of something that I thought would make me happy. You know, being lamb blasted on magazines, billboards across the world. And here another thing is I walked away from the modeling. I moved to Hollywood. I became an actor. I did a couple of movies. Probably the one, the most prominent one that you'll learn is American Part 2, where I played Tara Reid's boyfriend in the, in the video. Yet something was still missing. <clears throat> and that's what this, this retreat, and that's what my message is all about. I, I carried on searching. I wanted to find this thing. What was the purpose in life? And why do we get these winter, summer, autumn, springs in terms of our emotions and outcomes in life? It was so hard having to rely on someone's uh, choice, whether I look good enough, whether I was good enough at work, whether the, the deal was good, whether financially I was being good. So what I did is I walked away from everything. One morning I woke up and I, and I literally uh, sent an email to all my agents around the world and there was still something missing. You know, it was really weird. I was in New York and uh, I was more, in the morning I'd take like this, this chalk and I would do quotes on, on the pavements in New York. And I would take my little, my little recorder across the road and I'd film these guys walking over the quotes. They got their suits and their briefcase strutting over this, this thing and they'd walk across, look at the quote and be, from being grumpy going to work, they would go walk back over the quote, read it and this huge smile would come over and the energy would change. And I was more, more pumped about seeing people being transformed just from the quote then 95% of my other day wearing a G-string, makeup, traveling, doing modeling and all that. And, and that's where a little opening came for me. So I went and searched for purpose and um, a, not an ideology, but seven fundamentals were birthed for me to find out what it is, what life is really about. And this is a retreat, what it is. You know that I'm pointing towards love being the ultimate success. But how did it come across? It wasn't easy. It came from traveling the world, different countries, eventually ending up in India. There's a map. 
uh, backpacking everywhere, searching, asking gurus in the mountains, asking their their fundamentals, their art take on, on life. Um, I'd also, at the same time, you'll see the beautiful mountains. These are the Himalayas in India are gorgeous. And then I ended up here in Rishikesh. This is the Ganges. This is where we're going. Every picture that I share with you tonight is exactly the path that we've chosen for this retreat. And hence, by doing this, when I was traveling, I had a journal and I wrote down everything. And I, and when I got back to create this retreat, I literally cherry-picked the best experience and the best places in India that I wanted to bring people back and teach them what I had learned in life. And creating a teaching around that. So, as a direct result, uh, the, I discovered the ultimate nirvana. And um, just while we're on nirvana, I want to just tell you a little story about nirvana. And you know, there's a there's a beautiful metaphor in life. So, there were a whole lot of people, and the Buddha was standing at the wall, this imaginary wall with heaven with heaven on the other side of the wall. And all the people from across the world came, and the Buddha helped. Help the, help the people over the wall into nirvana, into perfection, into this peaceful dwelling where everything is perfect, heaven on earth. And the last person got up there, they got up to the top of the hill and looked down and looked at the Buddha and said, listen now, my friend, what about you? How are you going to get up? I can't reach you right at the bottom there. And he looked up with the most peaceful, powerful, beautiful presence and said, my heaven on earth, my nirvana is lifting you over the wall into heaven on earth. So it's it's this ties into a lot of what I'm sharing with you. Please, at any stage, don't think that there's any religious connotations attached to this this retreat. That's why we're chatting now, so you can really get a feel for what this is about. So it's not attached to it. I use all different religions to show you through a vehicle um, what I'm pointing towards, and that is being love, being the ultimate success. As you can see, love is all you need. And it might sound a little bit brochure-ish, but by the time you get it on seven different consciousness levels, you will see the power of love. Today, because I have found this, this, this love, I teach it in the corporate world. I mean, you can imagine I walk into a big corporate and say, you know, I'm going to share with you what I believe is missing. Love is the new currency, you know. And uh, as you'll see, uh, because of the work, I'm traveling a lot, uh, having the experience to train massive corporates. I'm also an adventurer as well, so I, what I teach, I put into practice as well. As you can see, there's swim from Robben Island to Cape Town, um, uh, literally bringing awareness to my message of love. Nelson Mandela also used this exact same sentiment uh, that uh, he said, if he had one gift today, he would give you the gift that you could see the beautiful love that you already are. So, <clears throat> as you can see, their business talks, the teachings, the reasons why I'm bringing this in here is for you to see that these teachings on these retreats have already been applied to the likes of these corporates already. As you can see, there, there's some big corporates here. That's what they've had to say about the trainings. Um, so that's how I discovered those trainings. So before that, before that, So, so we just had a little hitch here. Yeah. So, there's the corporates uh, that we have traveled. So, so you are in good company is what I'm trying to share with you here. Um, and so, the following poll that I'm putting up is, which of the following prophets would most appeal to you as a main motivator by attending this retreat? Um, so, I'm going to put the poll up now. There's the poll. Which of the following prophets would most appeal to you as a main motivator for attending the Smiling Soul Retreat? Have a break from life, work, family, just to get a holiday. A lot of people that come on these retreats really just come for, for a cool holiday. Um, find purpose or renewed focus in life. 
You so what I'm saying to you is, what profit do you feel that you will get by attending an international retreat uh, similar to ours, and in particular ours? Find joy, love in your heart. So all you do is, once again, you, you just uh, tap the circle there and then submit your answers. Explore incredible India through safe and inspiring means. So we'll get into that while we say that. And get over heartbreak or let go of internal conflict. So it's really about your preference. And uh, I'm just interested to know what would show up for your guys. So please uh, partake in our poll here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I can see a good reaction there. Yes. Find purpose. Fantastic. That's the main topic tonight. That's on 65%. Well done, guys. Find joy, 22%. Um, 11%. Have a, have a break from life. Just get away from things. Absolutely. Totally understood. Uh, also running on 11%. Explore incredible India. Absolutely. You know, one of the first things that drew me to India was not just my search, but incredible India itself. It's been drawing me since I was a, a young boy. And you will see why it draws you. It was way more than I even expected. It was so gorgeous. So, yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you for that. Um, the poll is now closed. And we're going to move on. So, thank you for that. So, let's move on. So, I designed this routine to create the absolute perfect conditions for you. There were seven fundamentals that I've created so that you organically get that love is the ultimate success. This is my intention. This is my purpose on this retreat. Can you imagine finding a place that no matter what happens externally in your life, that you are so emotionally moved and touched about life and nothing bothers you? You have found a new set of eyes to look through in life. You've found a new, you've re-relationshiped yourself with life to something so extraordinary that will stay with you forever. So I'm going to get straight into the retreat. This is what it looks like. All right? The perfect adventure through India that will inspire, shift, challenge, and put you, step you right into your greatness. I believe in your greatness. I believe that every single human on this earth has an individual thumbprint, has an individuality that is so powerful, and when they get to introduce themselves to themselves on this retreat, that is where the gold does start. So I'm so excited to share that with you. Those of you that haven't been onto our website, this is just a snapshot of our website, what it looks like. Please go onto our website, um, smilingsoulcreations.com. You will get all the past participants' feedback, where we go, a lot of detail into it. Um, so have a look at that. And then, so what will this retreat do? How will this retreat make your soul smile? So here's a couple of things that are almost guaranteed because of the work I've been doing for eight years. You know, imagine having a relationship with yourself when you actually fall in love with yourself. And I'm not talking about the egotistic falling in love with oneself. You, you so you appreciate who you are, your experience, your past. You almost start celebrating the, the times that you've made mistakes, that you've kicked your toe. You, you, almost, you almost see that that was the butterfly shedding, it's the silkworm shedding its skin. And eventually, on this retreat by the end, you, you leave. We, we stand for you turning into that butterfly. So... Another thing is long-term satisfaction through living a balanced life, which keeps you inspired, energized, and revitalized. You know, this retreat, in life, we're so used to having short-term gratifications versus long-term satisfaction. Everything's about a short fix versus a long-term satisfaction. Here, we connect you to an intention for life, so that you are satisfied for life, not just the next that's easy. I can easily blow up. We can go to India, have a big party, come home, you know, have the best time. But this retreat really gives you an opportunity in your own comfort, away from everyone else, to have a look and reflect at yourself and then create something amazing from that. So a fresh approach to starting each day. Uh, as I was telling you about the, the diaries, we go through the diaries on the retreats every day. It's amazing once you start seeing the results from that. All right, the other thing is obviously fun uh, motivated life's masterpiece with a clear roadmap on how to get there. So those of you that are either working too hard and not happy, 
we might have to have a look at redesigning your life. Those of you that don't have any clarity about what to do, you might have just come out of a long relationship, lost a job, whatever it is, we stand for your greatness. We're going to help you create a masterpiece on this retreat. This is while you're having fun, by the way, and traveling all over India, having the best time, the best food, and such, such beautiful, beautiful other things. But this is while you're doing self-development. That's why this retreat is so cool. It has everything. All right, so you'll gain clarity, peace, and focus to bring your dreams to fruition. Let me tell you, through your own commitment, a lot of a lot of this work here is not me telling you what to do, but it's really about asking you research questions so that you can create from yourself. You know, a lot of times um, the ego identity uh, ejects secondhand knowledge. You know when your boss says to you, make these much calls or go and do this or you've read these motivational help books and it all tells you what to do. It gives you secondhand information what to do. But after a while, you know, you wonder why am I not motivated anymore? Well, this is the real thing and the real reasons why this retreat is developed. We're going to let you be emotionally moved and touched about your life and you create it exactly the way you live. Not the way Brett says, your boss says, your wife says, anybody else. So that you can step into it and you know it makes sense financially, it makes sense from my heart, it makes my soul smile. This is the life I want to live. That is the clarity that we're going to get you into. Gratitude for each moment of being alive with the ability to step 20% out of your comfort zone. There is such a beautiful thing when you learn to be in action, detached from your thinking and feeling, it changes your life. These are one of the things, one of the fundamentals I had to do with the swim. Obviously, ice cold, just in the speedo, how am I going to swim three hours across the ocean over shark-infested, watered, freezing poles? Well, I'm going to teach you these tools. I'm going to give you these tools so that you can still be in action when your mind is saying, stay in bed, or they're judging me, or I'm not good enough, or any of that. I'm going to make you break straight through that stuff, my friends. And that is what this retreat is about. The first-hand realization and encounter with the gift of yourself. You know, for me, it is such a privilege giving me the opportunity to introduce you to yourself. I mean, I can find nothing more beautiful than that. And that is exactly what this space is about. So this is what the retreat looks like, right? Um, it's 12 days. Obviously, you arrive on the day or the day before. Um, our team t totally takes care of you. From the minute you just say, yes, I'm committed. From there, you never, you don't have to worry about a thing. We have a team that will come in and, and, and look after you. But I'll get to that in a little bit. So day one to three is Delhi. Day three to seven is the Ganges and the Himalayas. Day seven to 11 is Goa. And then uh, we end up with two days, the two days in, in Mumbai. Um, as you can see there, there's the visuals of where we're going to go. But here's the thing. So when we get to India, we meet in Delhi. So we all meet up. People haven't met each other. It's like 20 people from around the world. Some have come with friends. Some have come with partners. But, but in general, most people have just taken the, taken the chance, leapt into it because they want to find the exciting Christmas about this retreat, the gorgeousness of it. So here's the thing. One of the seven fun wonders of the world is in the second day of the retreat. We kick you straight into the retreat. We take a speed train from New Delhi to the Taj. It is absolutely breathtaking. Ticked off your bucket list. Then, then we, then, then off we go. Let me. I want to get you on my camera. Am I on the camera? No, I need to get you on my camera. Um, okay. So then we take you through that to the holiest cities in the world. It is. It is so gorgeous. It's something that it's, it's. It's one thing that you have to experience. You can see it on movies and that, but actually being there and feeling the energy and the presence of the people is unbelievable. All right. Then from, from there, we shift, we fly with these, with these beautiful, um, they, almost, they almost look like jets, but they're small airplanes, and we fly through into the Himalayas where we go and stay at what I call what, probably my favorite hotel in the whole world. But we camp on the Himalayas, we, we, we go and watch the sunset coming up on the Himalayas, we, we, we camp on the side of the Ganges, uh, and in between all of this, we're doing work, we're creating your masterpiece, 
We have Q&A with gurus in India. So if there's anything that I'm not covering, you have an option to speak to them. How cool is that? And then let's not forget the fun, of course. White River, White, White River, River rafting down the Ganges. It is one of the highlights of the trip. Every single participant absolutely loves this part. You know what's so cool about it? That while even if you even if you are a swimmer or not swimmer, you can literally jump off the boat, hold your life jacket, and float through these holy cities by holding your life jacket. So it's not too hectic. Um, as I said, we've got people from 16 to to 72 coming on these retreats. So uh, you must not worry at all if you don't feel that you're strong enough for the boat or fit enough or you. You know, your swimming skills skills aren't that good. Then we end up in Goa. So, so, so gorgeous. You know, Goa is where the Beatles, you know, the famous Beatles, this was their favorite hangout. And the two dates that we've got so, that are coming up, the November date and then the uh, end of February, beginning of March dates are so cool because Goa is hopping during that time. So um, it's, it's just incredible. You see that beach there? That beach, every 100 meters, is like a different theme. So one would have reggae. You can meditate for 24 hours. You can party for 20, 20 24 hours. You can do whatever you want and go. It's so, so beautiful. From there, once we've been in the tropical seas, Arabian Sea, swimming in the warm water, at coming off, we go into huts, having these beautiful open plan lunches. From there, we let off. Uh, at that stage, we had covered a lot of the work. So at that stage, we let off our new dreams, our new intentions, our new scene through our eyes. We all get on the beach at night and set off these gorgeous lanterns into the air, and we'll tell you why you do that on the retreat, and it's power to attract. Finally, then, we fly to one of my favorite cities in the world, and that's Mumbai. I, I absolutely, it's like, <clears throat> those of you that have been to New York, it's like the India New York. So we, we, we end off the tour with going through uh, the Diwali, the slum god excursion. It's through the slums, one of the biggest slums in the world. And the eye opener, the wake up that you get from this slum tour is just unbelievable. It stays with you forever, especially because of the work we've just done on the retreat as well. So I mentioned to you where we're going, the best of India. We're going to Delhi, Ganges, Himalayas. Um, this retreat, as I say, said to you, based on my own journey through 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 India, um, to discover love over 12 days in a, this this country. The reason why I chose this is because India screams love. Um, okay, so also everything inclusive and in what we're going to offer you tonight is your four domestic flights, all your accommodation, your land travel, airport transport, most of your meals, all the adventure activities and literally a comprehensive retreat facilitation. So this is the equivalent of booking me in a corporate every day to facilitate. So you get the best of both worlds. You have beautiful holiday, great teachings, and clarity in terms of what you want to achieve in life. So teaching and Q&As of the seven core fundamentals to create. What's really cool is that every second night we sit around a bonfire having a bottle of wine, and we really share about life, beautiful bonding sessions. And then finally, daily check-in sheets, workbooks scheduled for your journeys, highlights, etc., etc. So we really practically get you jumping in. What is the purpose of this retreat? What does it stand for? And what is it that we facilitate on this retreat is one of the questions. I've just popped up seven fundamentals. I'm not going to give you the teachings now. But what happens if you could find an intention for the rest of your life that will never leave you? In other words, every decision that you have to make is so easy because you know what your intention is for life. How cool is that? No more decisions. You are absolutely clear. Once you're clear about what your intention is in life, what then, how do I build a masterpiece to support that? So a game plan. Once you've got the, the, the masterpiece in the game plan, I'll give you tools to expedite the, the, the growth, to expedite the, the, the success internally and externally that you want. We teach you the powers of gratitude, balance. The real, real fuel of, of, of your life is, is we, we, we show you the power of being your word, integrity. And then finally, each fundamental here, right, is as powerful as the other. And every second day, we cover one of these, fundament one of these fund fundamentals in an hour motivational talk with me. You don't have to do anything. You sit back, drink your chai tea, make notes, and then finally, 
ending up with love being the ultimate success. Uh, that's the type of styles that the teachings are. You can see everybody sitting there, such a cool, relaxed people. These are people from all different places. Uh, so there we are on the top of the Himalayas. Um, so, you know, the reason why I'm sharing this webinar is so that you can get a feel. I want you to start visualizing yourself there. It's so laid back. All these people that you see came in there a little bit petrified, a little bit scared. What do we expect, etc., etc.? But we leave as one big, massive family. It's so beautiful. Not only that, so the, the, the girls, for example, that just did our, our, our last retreat, Every Thursday now, they're meeting in, in, jo in Joburg at an Indian restaurant wearing their saris with the red dots in their hair, and they have like this afternoon absolute fun. I'd love to be a fly on the wall there, but you know what I mean? So we, we really gain, gain a nice community, and I'll tell you the profit of, of, of going on this retreat a little bit later as well, outside of the retreat. So how is the retreat structured? What does a typical day of the retreat entail? So I told you you get workbooks. Yeah, it's just a flash copy of the workbook. So even before you get on the retreat, you're going to know exactly what we're going to do, where we're going to be traveling. The times are absolute there. Uh, obviously, in India, we, we work with India's time and that, but we try and stick to the to stick to our game plan 100% integrity. Uh, but that's a feel to what your day will look like. Um, you get a you get a nice you, you get a nice beautiful breakfast. Then we might go and do a teaching on the beach. Then you're off for the day. We give a lot of downtown here because we want you to experience uh, India as well. Um, the retreat is a backbone to that. Uh, as you'll see, I was telling you about the cool plane. So that's us jetting um, from uh, New Delhi into the Himalayas. Uh, beautiful. We've got four flights uh, internally, so it's really a jackpot of, of a retreat. Why India? What are the destinations? Why were they chosen? Remember I was sharing with you earlier about me having backpacks and gone searching. Now, I've traveled quite a lot around the world. I've worked in 16 different countries, really experienced 26 countries in total. When I tell you I've cherry-picked the exact places where we stay, the exact time that we stay there, the exact uh, balance with regard to fun, with the exact balance in regard to you know what find, what you want to get out of the retreat, it is absolutely put in so much time and effort to get that spot on. So I know what it's like. Just me having to go on a retreat. You know, I want my space. I want to be able to stand into my greatness when I want to. I want to have a holiday. I want. So I've really designed it exactly how I wanted that to be. And here's the cool thing. You'll see. Uh, a little bit later, what we what the retreat actually stands for in terms of rules and guidelines and all that type of stuff. Uh, here's a cool picture. So when I said to you, I said to you, Delhi, you can see the pictures there. Uh, then we go Rishikesh, Ganges, Himalayas, go Mumbai. Okay, so I hope these questions are helping you. Um, so what are the participants like and how big are the groups? Will I fit in? I feel I'm too old, young, unfit, not ready. All right, so I have I have beautiful girls on the line giving our clients or possible clients a call. And it's so funny that all these particular questions come up so often. And I understand why. You don't want to look out because you can't climb up a little mountain and you feel embarrassed or you feel that you're too old to get into a white water uh, rafting thing, or you feel that you might be too young, you won't fit in with these older people, etc., etc. Well, have a look at that. That is the type of people that you are going to be introduced to. All right, you can see fun there. You can uh, we 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 have in the in the just in terms of age, right? So we've had. A teacher from Namibia, a retired teacher that's 68, taken all her savings and thrown into this retreat. You'll see what she says about it uh, and, uh, as it's coming on. We've had, we've got CEOs, current CEOs and JSC, uh, JSC listed companies. We have got people that have taken their savings because they just want to come on a holiday. We have got school teachers. We've got executives. We've got all sorts of walks of love. But the thing is, yeah, we connect in our hearts. We, we, we leave those brochures behind because we connect on another way that is so beautiful. And those of you that like your space, don't worry. We're not going to like get in there and ask you to do a big group hug and you know, hug you the whole, the whole way around. It's not what that is about. This retreat is not what that is about. 
But those of you seeking for a home the whole way around, you get there too if you want. There's such beautiful people here. So it's really designed for you to be have the best time just for you. So what can I expect in terms of accommodation, food, and activities? Okay. So India is not exactly um, in Venice, the sunken city. India is India, and that's why people love it. But even amongst the beauty and the chaos and the third world type of feel to India, we have found that best accommodation. The most beautiful uh, places that tie into the teaching. So like one night you will see, we literally are camping on the Ganges next to the thing. So this is when you arrive in Delhi. How beautiful is this? The Crown Plaza, what a gorgeous hotel. Uh, that's the feel for it. So those of you that thought you might be in a hut when you get to India for 12 days, think again. This is our hotel, beautiful place in uh, in, in, in Goa, uh, very communal. There's there's a pool, there's a bar in the pool. We get the most beautiful food all the way around. So yeah, this is my, this is so, so beautiful. This is the Ganges and the Himalayas. Look at the rooms, look at your view. So you literally sit in your room and the Ganges runs, you see the picture on the left there? That's the top of our hotel. Underneath that, on the water is all the hotel rooms. So gorgeous hotels that we're going to. And there, bang, this is your biggest challenge of the retreat. It's just 24 hours camping, but let me tell you, it ends up being the best part of the retreat for a lot of people. A lot of people that only know of staying in five-star hotels come away from this and say, oh my gosh, I thought we can only have a really cool time in cool places. No, my friends, right here, right now, in places like this, camping is so beautiful. We have the opportunity to take little boats and little yachts out if you want to do, swimming in the Ganges. We have... We have bonfires, so many beautiful things. There's, uh, here's a perfect example of where we do teaching. So this is a beautiful, this is the beach hut, uh, beach cafe right on the Ganges. You can see all the participants standing there. I come and stand in the middle. We do a teaching while you're eating. It's playful, it's fun. There's nothing seriousness, you know. I also believe that spirituality can also be an ego thing. You know, the aloof spiritual person in the corner. No, 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 none of that. We here are bringing out the beauty, the beauty and the child in you, and you can see the gorgeousness in terms of the settings here next to the Ganges. Uh, it's just breathtaking all the way around. Okay, food. A lot of people are like, hey, Brett, I've heard people get sick and this and that. My friends, so I've been going to India. I think this is going to be my, my sixth time. I've had stomach cramps once. We've had... Over four or five retreats, we've maybe had three people that have been down for two days. But you get over it. Maybe you're just not used to it and you've got a sensitive tummy. That's okay. What I'm sharing with you, don't think that you're stuck with having to eat curry 24 hours a day. Don't think that you have to do this. But that is why a lot of us come to India. People get there and they don't realize how gorgeous the food is in India. It's cheap. It's uh, tasty, and we have we, we eat for hours on end. It's it's you actually end up probably putting on a bit of weight because the food is so good by the time you get back. Here's a collage of, of places that we go to. How cool is that? Um, you can see in the middle there we teach Japanese martial arts, which is one of the biggest breakthroughs that you're going to have on this trip. Once again. Don't think that you need to be a special athlete, you know. We've had people from Zim um, come on board, uh, you know, in their 60s. They that, 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 that battle physically. This is not a physical challenge or comrades or looking good or fitting in retreat. This is about you having the best time. I want you to have the time of your life. You can see there we do soft meditation, a bit of yoga. Uh, there's the slums on the right there. It's really a balanced place there. We do a bit of party on the top right there. So I uh, hope you're still with me enjoying the questions. Uh, I'm going to go back in my cam just to say how's it. Um, I don't know if you can see me. Sorry, I'm getting really... Uh, next slide here is what has been the experience of the previous participants. Now... One can always tell that. I always say word of mouth is the best way to sell anything. Give them the best time and let them sell it themselves. Well, a lot, a lot of people that enroll from previous uh, retreats are from friends that have done the actual retreats. And let me show you why, right? Uh, 
that's why. Here's some of the remarks. Remember I said to you uh, on our website, um, you please go on our website, smilingsoulcreations.com. Have a look at there, all the people, there's video testimonials, but there you can see here's a diverse group of women, uh, men come on this retreat. Um, so there's some of the quotes that they've said. Really, if you want to get to know what these people are all, all talking about, why they're saying this is the best trip they've had, why it's changed their life, why it was so much fun and color that they didn't expect, please go onto that page and really look in detail up there. But I tell you what, um, what they have shared by coming on this retreat has been nothing but amazing. And I, and, I, and I don't just mean from it being a cool trip. You know, you and your girlfriend choose to go away and have a great trip. Yes, it's a great trip. Yes, yes self-development is extraordinary. But the time that you have, you know, to me, life's about having experience. What experience do you have in life? And why would we hold back experiencing the absolute joy and beauty that you can in this retreat? So please have a look what they're saying. It is highly suggested from our clients that have been on this retreat. Uh, go onto the uh, website and have a look. So. Another question, I'm considering another retreat along similar lines. What sets the Smiling Soul retreat apart from the rest? Okay, so I've done a couple of retreats and hence that's why I have layers to create retreats as well. Um, here are just some of the reasons why, excuse me, why we are not just a brochure retreat stuck together, right? So we have structured programs and awesome activities. There's no other retreats in the world that I'm familiar with that teaches Japanese martial arts, right? So you go there and you are taught sword fighting. But this is something that is, is not just a, a technique of sword fighting. You're like, Brett, where am I ever going to use sword fighting again? You probably will never use it unless you enroll onto uh, me coaching you in terms of the hojo. But what you will get is this. When I share with you that if you force in life, you lose power, for example, I'm just giving an example. When you're doing the hojo on the beaches with all like-minded people that have never done this in their, themselves too, so don't be nervous if you don't know what's happening, that is what this retreat is about. But you'll get to a exercise where you're actually trying to look good and fit into this group and you're forcing trying to strike. But when you force from your mind, and you're trying to look good and hit hard, the strike is not clear. It's not a powerful strike. When I teach you to drop the thinking and strike from your heart, five foot nine women snapped this huge hojo stick in half. What does that tell you? For the first time, I'll make you see life through a different set of eyes. And that is where the gold dust happens. So there's, there's beautiful structures like that. Visual meditation. Can you imagine a soft meditation in your car where I visually teach you what to attract in life? And uh, act activities like sun sanitation yoga. So we really just give you the basics. You don't have to have ever done yoga in your life or hoja or meditation for that matter. This is where you're going to learn the basics of it. And you can choose when you get home to use it or not. I'm almost guaranteed that you will, though, however, when you get back. So, unique, powerful, practical teaching, teachings. I told you how unique it is, where we do them, on the top of the Himalayas, on the top of the Himalayas. I introduce you to how to create a masterpiece in your life. So gorgeous. Uh, best of India in terms of destinations and attractions. Well, there's a reason why we can't be next to the Ganges. And half of the people that ever visit, uh, uh, visit India never do that is because I walked through their backpacking and I found these cool little unique places, all right? So that's the gorgeousness of these destinations. They are a surprise. Um, support system, becoming part of the Smiling Soul community. This is a beautiful one. Uh, so what we do is, uh, after you've qualified and you've been on these retreats, we have reunion retreats where like-minded people will join us, and so our next re or our, our, our reunion retreat will be in Bali coming up. So once you've been on this, we come together and we have another five-day retreat with all like-minded people, and I take you to the next layers of our teachings, all right? So uh, not just can, is it cool to have lunches with these people. You become best friends, sisters. we all connected. We all stay together, and it's just incredible the friendships that you get in here. The world-class host, well, that's me. Um, <laughs> I always love bringing humor into this, but m most certainly 
Um, I've held these teachings. I have committed to them and taught them across the world already with big, big companies. My intention in life is you. And my intention is to create a ripple effect of love in your life. And that is what this retreat is about. Okay, so you have my full 24 hours, 27, all the time, I'm available for you. We'll have personal time in the retreat as well. Those of you that, you know, you don't want to really express in the group, you will have time to do that with me, all right? But more importantly, forget the world-class host, right? Will I receive assistance in my travel preparations and planning after booking the retreat? I'm afraid of traveling by my own. So, I wanted to share with you, sorry, just my cord. Uh, um, so, I wanted to share with you our next part of the team. Don't be afraid. That is Rupali Mahendra, right? Rupali is like a sister of mine. This is the glue, the layers, and everything behind that. Rupali comes with us on every retreat. She is a founder, a business partner, business partner. We met because of India. And she has spent many years in India. And so having her on board, speaking the language, being a tour guide, being an angel to you from the day that you say yes tonight on this retreat, you will hear from our routine. But on call is my special sister and fantastic person that you will see does not stop working for 24-7 for 12 days, making sure that you are happy. So um, you'll get to know her party. You'll absolutely love her. She's like one of the golden nuggets for everyone on this retreat. So um, take another snapshot. That smile is always there. So Rapali will be looking after you. Don't worry about your travel. We will walk. And we will help you with visas. We will help you with ticket bookings. We will help you wherever you are stuck. All right. So you can read that about uh, in the other participants on the website as well. They'll tell you how much our team gets involved with you. So you've got nothing to worry about. You just commit. A few other questions that are asked regularly. Will I receive assistance in my travel preparations and planning for the bookings of the retreat? Absolutely. What is the weather in India like in different retreat states throughout the year? Okay, so we've got two retreats coming up, November and then end of March, I mean, sorry, end of Feb, beginning of March. The weather is the best time. Uh, the vibe is the best. Some of the roads are closed off in the Himalayas and Rishikesh because the snow has just started melting. Uh, so the, the, the Ganges and the Rishikesh at this time are a lot quieter, so you've got a lot more room to cross bridges do the most gorgeous shopping. It's so cheap in India. Um, so the weather is really cool and favorable for us. I see that the package passes on a sharing basis. Does this mean I must bring someone with? What if I want my own room? Absolutely. Never get stuck in the, thin the thickness of something thin and rough. We offer single packages. We offer you to share if you want. A lot of, lot of times people share, they have no idea who they're sharing with, but this is the beautiful thing. We never, ever, ever get a complaint. We even put smokers with smokers, for example. We want you to have the best time. If you do want your single room the whole way through, that's not a problem. You just speak to our team and we'll arrange it. Of course, it costs you a little bit more, but uh, if that's not a problem for you, go for it. We stand for your greatness, and I know even with your single room, you'll still have the best time. So. Do I need to take part in the motivational sessions, the Q&A sessions, and other activities which are part of the retreat facilitation context? Can I just come along for the ride and skip some sessions? Here's the cool thing. Because, I'll, because as I said, I put myself in your shoes, there's no rules on this retreat. If you want to pay and go to sleep from when you, when you arrive until you, go, until you leave, no problem. If you want to stay in your bedroom and read a book, no problem. There's no problems. All you need to let us know is 24 hours before, the night before, hey, I'm not going to make tomorrow's session. Um, I feel like lying in, et cetera, et cetera. No problem. You also won't be judged on that. But I want to tell you, hardly anybody ever misses a session. All right. So I hope these questions have really, really helped you here. Yeah? Uh, let's see. 
I'll answer more questions in a bit, but why we're here today is what I really want to share with you here. If you commit today, everything that I've covered with regard to um, where we're traveling, what our teachings are, how much fun it is, you will get your money given back. I guarantee you will get your money given back to you. If you can prove by the end of the retreat, right, that you have been participating in the retreat, you've done your diary every day, you've done your homework 20% out, out of your comfort zone, and you've really got stuck in, and you feel that you have not gained anything from that. I'll put you on your chair with your money and all the way back. So you do not have any risk here. It's either going to be worth my money or it's not. But you'll get your money guaranteed. You'll get it back. Money back guaranteed. It just remember I said to you, the guys that are on the webinar tonight, you sign up tonight, this is what we're giving it away. Straight away, a full holistic, love yourself, Aravinda healing body treatment at the foothills of the Himalayas to support your internal journey and external journey of the senses. This is so cool. It's worth 3,000 rand. So when you get there, you will have your half day. We'll send you there and you'll be totally set up. Other participants don't get this. It's only for you tonight, right? So our special offer, inclusive to this webinar for the November, and remember I say March retreats, it's actually the end of, of Feb, 28th of Feb, March retreats. 12-day India Smiling Soul Retreat with flights included. Transport, accommodation, meals, activities is in itself valued at 50,000 Rand per participant. What I'm sharing with you now, if you took what we did to a travel agent and asked them, please give us a price on this, it would cost you 50 grand. My teachings and, and hosting of this trip for 12 days is worth 120,000 rand. So I get booked obviously every, every daily, every week by corporates for one hour. So you do the maths there. Uh, and then obviously we throw in the, the bonus with regard to the treatments at 3,000 Rand. Total value worth 170 grand, my friends. And it's worth that. But today, special offer inclusive to this webinar, just for November and March retreats. Your deposit two nights to secure your spot is only 10,000 Rand. $750, right? So, the balance you will pay before the retreat starts. So if the retreat is only, if you come into the one in March, only before then do you need to uh, take all those months to prepare to pay for the other 26 grand. Or if you're coming on November 1, as I said to you, these things are, uh, people are enrolling on you, so these specials take take your chance, jump, put your deposit down, at least it secures it. From there you can go and beg, borrow and steal money if you have to, or you can just create a plan with us. With our girls in the office, we create a, a payment plan so that we can support you financially as well. Okay, so have a look at this. Your total investment is only 36,000 Rand. $2,700. I want to see you in India in November or March, my friends. That is the beautiful price we're giving away today. So, here, go to the link smilingsoulcreations.com slash special, all right? Complete the participation form, submit and make a deposit payment with the card online or via EFT, and we'll be in touch shortly, as I said with you, to hold your hand from here to India and back. Nothing, nothing is challenging anymore for you. We will hold your hand through these things. Please also there, if you have any queries following this webinar, India at SmilingSoulCreations.com, get in touch with us. And then um, finally, as I'm saying here, what is stopping you from making this fantastic decision in your life? I always say it's about experience. I mean, you know, we're quick to go and spend money on buying a new this and a new that and a new this, but where have you actually invested in yourself? This 36,000 Rand could stay with you for the rest of yourself. It's an internal, inner billion investment, something that you will hold cherished for the rest of your life for only 36 grand. Every single thing paid for. We are already at 50% capacity for November, so expecting to book out fast, jump on it, my friends. Please see your handouts now. Remember I shared with you that uh, we're giving away a manifestation diary. Uh, you'll see in your handouts column there on, on, on the right. 
Um, this is a gift from me to you because you've been on this webinar tonight. Thank you so much. The, the diary that you can download or upload now, um, you get taught to become a master in it on the retreat. But even not coming on the retreat, I invite you to jump in, print it, and get stuck in it. It's amazing. This diary is designed for all areas of your life. Okay, so um, have a look. I know that you'll enjoy it. I'm just going to hold them there a little bit while you have the opportunity to get them. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, webinar so far, my friends. We're going to open up shortly for questions. Um, so I'm going to move on. I hope you all got your diaries. If not, get in touch with us. We'll sort you out. All right. So open platform for questions. Once again, those of you that are committed and re ready to jump on now, just follow that link. Make it happen. I'm so excited for you and I to meet and for us to create magic in your life. Thank you for tonight. Thank you for spending the time with me. I hope that most of the, all your questions were answered. And if there's anything else that you uh, need answers for, anything else that I haven't covered, I'm available to you right now for anything that you want to know. All right, so thank you once again. Much appreciated. I can not talk about I can not Afrikaans about So, uh, is there a question in Afrikaans? Moet ek die hele ding oor doen in Afrikaans? Nee probleem nie. Ek wil hier dat jy sal gaan smile, so jy moet, jy moet uh, India te kom. Uh, ek wil jou ontmoet. It's not that good, eh? but uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to try. Is daar enige iets wat jy wil weet, um, wat ek nie, wat ek nie authentic oog gegaan het op die retreat. Parabien South African, Afrikaans, Jebo Gunjan, Loskat wen a funne kolomme na mene, mene kone lape, wen jas kolomme, mene so nege wen a lo moetle, moetle answers. So yeah, three languages. Yes, I see questions. Any questions, my friends? Anything that you want to know that I can help you right now answer your question? Anything stopping you from jumping? There shouldn't be. Aren't webinars cool being able to connect like this? Like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm at home, you're at home. And uh, it's just a wonderful way to, to be able to communicate. I invite you guys to do it. It's quite simple. You can do it with your products, whatever you're doing. Um, have fun, spread love, do what you need to do. Payoff plan, what does it look like? Yes, so, uh, payoff plan. So the immediate thing is obviously we need to pre-book. So there's certain flights that we have to pre-book, there's hotels, etc., etc. That's why we ask you for the 10,000 Rand. Uh, payment plans would look like this. So whatever the months are left for you to pay in order for you to get your 36, uh, 36 grand, you can divide the rest over a month. I think it works out to like uh, 7,000 rand a month or whatever it is. Uh, or you can pay the sum total just before a month before you actually come on the retreat. But, you know, I always find this, me personally, I always, when I commit, Big borrowers still, I pay the money so that I don't have to worry about it. Like I'm going on this dream trip, but oh, I still got to pay the other 80% of the money. So uh, commit to putting that seven grand in every month. It's a trip of a lifetime. You seven grand a month. It, it's uh, it, This is worth it. If you've never traveled before or you half a frequent traveler, you'll know what prices are, costs and that. This is an absolute bargain in terms of what you get out of here. Um, and uh, it's not just me saying it. Obviously, I'm going to tell you these things, but have a look what all our other clients and, and past participants have had to say about pricing in particular. So, yeah, payment plan. Phone us. We want you to come in here. We will schedule and make a plan with you. All right. I hope that answers the question. Well, bye, thank you, Anita. I appreciate it. The more I sell, the better I pay. Thank Thank you.
Oh yeah, here's another question coming up. Um, <clears throat> should I or shouldn't I bring my girlfriend? <laughs> you should, or you shouldn't. It's up to you, my friends. Uh, we here to spread love. Let me tell you, whoever comes on this is it's just a huge bonus for me. Here's the cool thing, though. If you are working on your relationships and you your intention is to stay in your relationships and and have a great relationship. I invite you to bring your partner on board because we can, can co-create a masterpiece for both of you moving forward. It's so gorgeous in all areas of life. Um, but if you are in a relationship and you're not sure whether you should stay or go, maybe coming by yourself would be beneficial to you. Obviously, I prefer two people, but I stand for your greatness and what you're about. This is not about uh, you know enrolling the people on here. I want you to find your grace, your pleasure, and your power. So. Girlfriend or not, if you want to create magic with her, bring her. If you want to decide in your life, in your relationships, well, come alone. And I, and I promise you, you'll have clarity by the end of the, the 12 days. Guaranteed. Um, so, Helen says, um, I like the last question. I'm already booked for November. Uh, now, I'm into the coming, and I was planning on coming alone. So did I just answer your question, Helen? Uh, this is brilliant for relationships, okay? But it's it, 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 as I said to you, uh, you definitely will walk away. Let me let me give you an, some some examples. We've had we've had relationship we've had couples come to us and said our oh, our relationships are on the rocks. What should we do? Two retreats ago, we had uh, quite a serious couple relationship thing, and they they were, they, they were so um, heartbroken that they didn't want to take away from somebody else having a good time on the retreat. So they were also concerned about each other, which was really cool. Well, they both came on the retreat. Um, the 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 partner only decided like one month before um, that they were coming, and. I must tell you, it brought me so much joy that they both came on. Apparently, today they're happier than they have been in a very long time. And you know, it could be a little bit, a little dispute about my my husband always wants to play golf, and she he he and she wants to be independent, and all these type of things. I sit with you, and we create magic together. So there's a give and take on both sides of the aisle, if you know what I mean. We create the perfect exotic perfect masterpiece for both of you to sign off on and just commit to your word versus the outside world sabotaging your relationship. So Helen, bring him on. Bring him on. Um, but let him commit pretty soon. As I said, it's only 10,000 Rand deposit, so we're all going to have people jumping on. Um, do it ASAP. Yay, I'm so glad you're coming, Helen. That's so cool, man. So, so exciting. Very cool. Don't tell anyone you're going to have the time of your life. Anita says, um, I've done consciousness coaching with Mark and the point with Stephen. Is this the type of thing you do on repeat? Beautiful question. Beautiful. So, uh, a lot of my awakening actually are directed to exactly those two human beings, uh, including Mark Fraser Grant, but it's Mark Steinberg and Stephen. But this has got nothing to do with it. This is organic getting that I've got probably because of their opening, but now I've created something that has literally come from my heart. Um, I'm just a, a kid at heart, uh, a kid that is interested in being successful and happy and have purpose in life, but doing it in the most fun, unstuck, light way. I never, never get stuck in the thickness of something thin and light. Never take yourself too seriously. You are way more beautiful than that, my friends. So my point is here, yes, but lightness, love, action, uh, fun. I use, I use the child aspect of it to conquer the adult in you so that you can tie the two up and be authentic, happy, and by the time you leave it, it feels like you can walk through raindrops. I don't know if you got that with the other teachings. I know it was pretty hard. You know, we were in boardrooms all day watching slides for four days in a row. 
No, this is none of that type of stuff. This is fun. One hour teachings every second day. Uh, time off free. You don't even have to touch a diary if you don't want to. Um, as I said to you, there's no rules on this. And I remember there being quite a lot of rules on those other teachings. This is really open. But, but that's why when you're able, able to be comfortable in your own environment, I find that a lot of people go deeper because they feel secure in themselves and they, and they have this beautiful platform. Remember, when you're in India, you're, you're away from your children, you're away from your job, you're away from everything. You, for the first time, can absolutely breathe and say, hold on, let me have a look at this. And Brett's teaching us fun and power at the same time. Why am I not experiencing this? Why am I in Jobic feeling like I'm getting fatter, losing my hair, or being more frustrated, whatever the case may be? My friends, we're going to flip that right on its head. That, this retreat absolutely turns you inside out. As I said to you, from a caterpillar into a butterfly. So, I hope that answered your question. Uh, Brett. Okay, he has a, a family of four. Married couple, daughter and son. This is so cool for families as well. Eh? Um, and there's a lot of respect here as well. So, you know, we, we can customize your family coming on this too. So, for example, we can make sure your two rooms are next to each other. You know, mom and dad, sister and brother travel together all around. And your context could be created like uh, from, from a family perspective. I, uh, let me tell you, I would bring my family on here straight away to get connected as a family. It's so beautiful, full of love. So, yeah, bring your family. They will love it. Anita asks, if I share with someone, how do you decide who will be my best match? Your best match? I'm going to let God decide that. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason, uh, angel in the world. Eh? Um, but... Before you know it, you will. So, so you're not stuck with the person that we give you when you arrive. So you don't have to worry about that. Let's just say uh, you're a big smoker and the other person isn't. And that's the only difference between the two of you. We want you to have the best time. So we will customize it. You might find that you really get along with Sue better. And Sue gets on with you better. And after day two, you're like, hey, Rapali. Do you mind if, if her and I swap out or do this? Absolutely. There's no rules. We want you to have a great time. Um, I'm sure you can pick up my personality and, and the way I operate. And you've seen on videos and all that type of stuff. There is no strict headmaster on this retreat. This is pure love. I stand for your greatness. And I believe your ultimate success is, is, is inside of you. So, no rules, pure love. That's great. Thank you for all these questions. Very cool. So, who of you are committing? Have you gone on to the Have you gone onto the link? Get in touch with us. Uh, we're going to have a survey now when we finish as well. Please fill in the survey. Uh, our team will get back. You can even write there, hey, Brett, why don't you let one of my girls phone you tomorrow? Or I say, hey, when something calls you, jump. When we finish this, go onto this link, pay your 10 grand deposit, Run outside, jump and say, I've just ticked off my bucket list. I'm going to Incredible India. Worry about the other twenty, the other 26,000 Rand over the next three, four months, all right? If that is your case. This is an investment for life. So I know a lot of you have got to head off now. You've got to go and make dinner. I want to say thank you so much uh, for your time here. Um, I'm guesstimating from this webinar, I'm going to see about eight of you on this retreat. So thank you for your time. Love you lots. Can't wait for you to be traveling through, jetting around India, in between Himalayas, Ganges, big cities, having fun. And it's 12 days, eh? plus your days of travel. It's, it's really like two weeks out of your life. It's just incredible. And come and find out why they call this incredible India. It's not my slogan. It's people from around the world that have been there. You'll see why. So on that note, 
Namaste, that's what they're saying in there. They stand for the God in you, the greatness in you, big respect, even though I don't know you. You are me. We are what love, pure love. Thank you for today. Um, and so the survey is coming up. Please stay and, and fill in the survey.